We're at the Louise Mandrell Theater right here in Pigeon Forge, and with me is, of course, Louise Mandrell. Well, welcome to our theater. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking a few minutes and uh, being with us here. First question, how many instruments do you play? <laughs> well, um, in this show, of course I play the fiddle. Everyone expects that. Uh -huh. and, um, bass guitar and ooh, a horn, drums. Um, there's a 16-foot piano from the movie Big that we play with our feet. <laughs> <laughs> the drums, um, a variety of instruments, accordion, but, but really, um, we try to, when we pick the instruments, to pick things that are really different so mm -hmm. that we can do a, a really big variety of, mm -hmm. and, and styles of music. Yeah, yeah. Now, your entire family I guess is, is are, are musicians, is that right? Well, yes sir, we started out that way. Um, of course now my sister Barbara's into acting. Uh -huh. Erlene is off driving uh, legend cars and, and racing legend cars. And I'm in my new theater, entertaining yeah. nightly. Uh, yeah. When well, did your mom and dad? <laughs> my mom did was they a play yes. Play as well. Oh yes, they owned a music store, which is why we play so many different instruments. Mm -hmm. And my mom taught uh, music and, uh -huh. and music theory. So yeah. a very very uh, talented lady. Oh, and, yeah. and my dad not only played instruments and sung, but was a great MC. So we we have yeah. a very strong background. Yeah. Now, when I walked in the theater tonight, Louise, to be honest with you, I was kind of like Gomer Pyle. I was like, golly, <laughs> look at this. It Thank is you. gorgeous in here. Thank you. Now, tell me a little bit about the show here. Well, um, it is quite a variety of styles of music from uh, country, of course, mm -hmm. and bluegrass to um, um, some um, very, very pop things. And we do even... Um, living in America, which is James Brown, mm -hmm. but we do a wide variety because we feel that with families coming together, we want everyone to have a good time. We do magic. There's a, um, a, a Ford truck that we dance on, and then we lift it in the air and make it disappear, and I'm in it, and then I appear in the audience, and uh -huh. folks love that. And oh, I don't know which they like better, the truck disappearing in, in mid-air or the fact that uh, all of a sudden I'm out there with them. Yeah. And, and so we try to do a very personal and, and um, energetic show. Sure. How many cast members? Oh, goodness. Um, one of the things that's really exciting is like I have um, eight dancers. Um, uh -huh. Some of them play instruments, and, uh -huh. and most of them are singers. And, and then we have musicians who are also comedians and, and also can dance, and just a wide variety. So when you say, how many cast members, it's, it's as if we went out and just found people who could do it all, yeah. and then put them into a show. And yeah. what I like about that is, if you find people that have that much talent, whatever you dream up, they can do. So Louise, what made you settle in this area? <laughs> Well, I went to the Lee Greenwood show, and it was so inspirational that when the show was over, Lee said, you need to make the Smoky Mountains your home, and I believed him, and I did. Yeah, so. mm-hmm, yeah. Now, show times, do you, you do one show a day, is that correct? Or? Well, sometimes we do <coughs> two, uh -huh. but before every show, I go out and sign autographs and get a chance to meet people. Yeah. They're always stunned, you know, when they walk in the door, and there I am. Yeah. And, and I like that. I love people, yeah. and that's one of the reasons I really enjoy the theater. Yeah, I've heard you even go to Walmart occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I like to shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Well, listen, thank you so much. We appreciate it, and uh, certainly want to invite everyone to come out to the Louise Mandrell Theater and see this great show. Well, thank you. We have a good time. Thank you, Louise. Thank you.